Sex isn't just for fun, it's good for you too. Every orgasm releases a flood of the hormone called um, oxytocin, which improves your mood, your heart health, it reduces stress and depression, it improves your self-esteem, and helps you sleep better at night. So please can I ask you, why aren't you having a lot of sex? Why are you depriving yourself from all this goodness that comes with sex? Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Tete Maheli, your gap to go with Contagious Energies. In today's video, I'll just be sharing with you some tips so that you can have a better sex. So number one for me that I think is really important is to communicate with your partner. Um, couples who communicate with each other about their wants and needs have not only a really good sexual relationship, but also they have a healthy relationship. So it's really important for you to let your partner know that I want to be touched this way, or I like it when you do this, or I like it when you do that. So communication is really important, especially in the bedroom, because we want a healthy heart, we want to be in a good mood, and we want good sleep. So number two is try something different. Spice up your sex life by stretching your boundaries. You know, I mean, come on, start with foreplay, touch each other in new ways, stop using the bed, use the floors, I mean, the roof if you have to. <laughs> No matter how busy your day is, sex is one part of your day you should never rush. And don't skimp on the foreplay. Those extra, you know, um, minutes that you spend touching and kissing each other will get you aroused and make sex more pleasurable. So please, don't just rush and try rip her clothes off so you can enter. You when you slow down, you also get more time to spend with your partner and that is good for your relationship overall. So number four is exercise. Working out boosts stamina in bed and puts you in the mood, right? Exercise also creates a more toned body. It improves your self-esteem and makes you feel a lot sexier. Now, I'm not saying go to the gym and kill yourself seven days a week trying to get buff so you could have the most amazing sex. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is try your best to, to exercise so that you are able to to you know without your knees getting sore without you getting out of breath because that stuff is already left in the gym now in the bedroom we all about whining and moaning <laughs> No matter how much you might want to have sex, your busy schedule might get in the way. So it's really important for you to schedule sex. I know that scheduled sex can be boring, but think about the preparation that will go into it. You understand? Instead of him just rolling you over, you know, because now, he, you know, he's horny or whatever. You could actually have lingerie. You could, you know, you could, you, you could look forward to preparing for it. And also preparation could also just, you know, excite you. Send a text. Say, honey, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. Mommy is waiting down there you understand you can schedule to either have sex once or twice a week i don't understand or i cannot be those people who have sex once a month what are you doing you must be so frustrated so number six is to use lubrication i know that a woman's body naturally makes their own lube but sometimes honey it runs out or showed on supply the best one to use is a water-based lube safest when using a condom and a silicone base are less irritating um when having anal sex and that is a conversation for another day honey because you are missing number seven is to be affectionate not every romantic encounter has to end in sex when your partner can find ple pleasure in many other things you can take baths together you can have sensual massages you can have a hot makeout session on the couch you could even make each other orgasm through masturbation you know but it's important for you to teach your partner how you want to be touched so that your partner can actually deliver the things that you really want or sometimes you could just cut up if you have tried all you could but your your sex life for you still feels dry and it annoys you you know having sex just frustrates you because you feel as if you are not receiving the kind of the kind of sex you're supposed to have i think it's very important for you guys to go and see a sex therapist that person can help you and yeah you could improve and you could enjoy the sex that we are all having so thank you so much but before i let you guys go please leave a comment in the comment section below what are some of the the things that you do to spice up your life you don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for tuning i'm with your gaps to go and i'll see you in my next video